And dozens of Kern County residents attended the Route 91 concert this weekend, as you just heard there from Tim. A weekend supposed to be full of music and fun ended in disaster. 23 ABC's Jada Montemorano speaking with one survivor about her struggle and the ability to get back to normal. You're, you're never going to forget it. Janie Scott will never forget the night of October 1st, 2017, a night that changed her forever. We don't know how to function to go back to normal. I do know how to do, and I'm pretty good at it, is I do know how to throw one hell of a party. Janie Scott, Bakersfield resident and mother of six, was in the crowd that Sunday night with her husband John and friend Tawny. That night, it was horrifying. Janie shared her experience once that rapid gunfire began. Strangers gathering together to be safe. It was John and three other men who broke down a rod iron fence. The gunfire zooming past your head, but you don't know what direction it's coming from or who has it. It sounded like it was literally in the crowd. Janie says she saw a girl less than 10 feet away get shot that evening. She didn't just fall forward. She crumbled in place. It was like the life just left. Janie, John, and Tawny luckily made it to safety. And once safe, she realized she had blood splatters all over her clothes, not of her own blood, but that of others. She shared this on her Facebook page. I can honestly tell you, we're not mentally doing well. She says her family's even afraid to go out in public and are not able to sleep. They do not have the strength to do everyday tasks. And I'm sure that other people are feeling the same as me. Jamie says she just wants to spread the word to other survivors that they are not alone. Nobody who wasn't there is going to understand what we went through. And I just want to give them a hug, a hug of that we're alive and we're all together and we made it out alive. Reporting from Bakersfield, Jada Montemorano, 23 ABC.